Hello again. My name is Yona Rubin. I'm a pulmonary and ICU doctor at Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School. It's March 23rd, 2020, and there is so much information, true news and fake news, circulating on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on Yeshiva World News, telling you how to treat coronavirus. And I'd like to explain to you all how to weed through all of this. Please understand that claims of miracle cures or that you should beat your chest or that you should blow dry your mail are completely false, completely made up. People are spreading fake fabricated emails in the name of other doctors, even making things up in the name of Rabbanim that are completely false. These people are taking advantage of all of our anxiety and our wish that really there should be some easy fix or something we can do as we sit at home. You need to get your information from a reputable, reliable source, like the CDC, the NIH, the FDA, a major respected academic medical center. It's not hard to do. If you're inclined to believe something that you read on WhatsApp, just Google it before you share it with someone else. If it's only on Yeshiva World News or a forwarded WhatsApp, but it's not on a major academic hospital website or the FDA or the CDC or the NIH, it's fake news. It's not that you found out before the rest of the country. Now I'd like to specifically address the recent excitement about hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin. You may have heard the president claiming that these drugs are a miracle cure. You may have heard about a doctor in Monroe claiming to have a 100% cure rate for his patients who are treated with hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin. This is dangerous misinformation and I'll explain why. Most patients who get coronavirus, as you know, do very well without treatment. So all those patients who were cured by all these drugs were in all likelihood going to get better regardless. If you have a science background, go ahead and actually read the study that everyone is referring to. I will put a link to it in the YouTube video description. But if you're not gonna read it, let me break down the study that all of this hype is based on for you. The evidence supporting the use of hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin come from a very poorly done study of 26 patients who got this drug in France. Only six of them got the second drug, azithromycin. A typical reliable study in medicine for something like this requires hundreds if not thousands of patients to be considered reliable, not 20. But here's the important part. The study did not even check whether or not people who got these drugs got better. They tested only whether your swab turned negative. They took patients who swabbed, who had nasal swabs that were positive for coronavirus. They gave some of them these medications and then they swabbed their nose every day for six days. And the people who got this drug, their swabs turned negative faster. This does not mean that they got rid of their coronavirus. There are many issues with the test, including false negatives. And this also does not necessarily mean that these patients did any better because the study did not share the outcomes of the patients who got these meds versus the patients who did not. And in fact, four patients in this study of 26, four patients who got the drugs ended up going to the ICU or dying and were not included in the study because they didn't make it to day six. This is how bad the evidence is. This by no means is evidence that hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin will cure coronavirus. And so other major academic medical centers are still studying this question. Is it possible that it helps? Of course it's possible. And some centers and doctors are prescribing it for specific patients. But right now, we just don't know. This is not my opinion. This is the study. And if you want to verify it, as I recommend you do for all information you get, you can go ahead and read it. It might be right for some patients, but right now, these meds are not right for everyone. And here's three reasons why. Number one, by spreading lies about a miracle cure, we are distracting from what we know works, which is social distancing and hand washing. People cannot think that we can now relax and have our minion because there's a magic cure. There isn't a magic cure. The best defense against coronavirus is still to stay home. 
not having minyanim. There is no medically safe way right now to have a minion, including, and I cannot believe I heard people suggesting this, but including a minion comprised of people who already have coronavirus. People have to stop being so machmer on tefillah b'tzibor at the expense of being so mekel on sakanas nefashos. This is a life-threatening situation. There's not a single posik who can disagree with this. If you actually have coronavirus, you can discuss with a reliable doctor whether you are from the small group of patients for whom taking this drug might make sense. But if and when you are told that you don't need it, you are not missing out on a miracle cure. You might just be avoiding side effects of taking a drug that you never needed to take to begin with. Reason number two about why you should not get excited about this drug. While there is no data to support taking them, we do know that to stay home and wash our hands is the best way to avoid getting coronavirus. And as everyone goes out to their doctor or pharmacy trying to pick up these medications that they don't need, you are exposing others to coronavirus if you already have it, and you are exposing yourself to coronavirus if you don't. And reason number three is about caring for other people. Hydroxychloroquine is a proven medical therapy for people who, ta who have lupus. And if all of us, which includes thousands of people across the country, including our brothers and sisters, and they will not be able to get the drug if there is a shortage, which there already is, from everyone clamoring and demanding that their doctor prescribe them this drug that they don't need. Hospitals and doctors, again, may decide to give it to specific patients, but this has to be done carefully by experts. Everyone, we all want a miracle cure. It's easy. It'll make this over. We want to believe it, but that's not the case right now. I'm not telling you not to have hope. I am telling you, put your hope and energy into social distancing and hand washing and verify the fake news that is spread by people who get a high by taking advantage of us. Distancing, hand washing, waiting. It's much harder. It's much more work than a miracle cure, but it's the truth. And I think you all know this to be true. Don't allow yourselves to believe these, to believe these hoaxes and quick fixes, these promises of miracle cures. Verify what you hear on a reputable website before spreading fear, falsehoods, and anxiety in our community. I again wish that everyone who is well stays well, and a refuah shalema to all who are ill.